sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home, on my old Kentucky home, far away. One more and we'll have the octet. Sir? Yes? Yes? No. No? No. Oh. Now, I want you to practice very hard. Practice, practice, practice. Next month, as you know, we compete against Webster High School for the Petrie Head and Trophy. Sir? No, Mr. Gillis. We'd like to win the trophy. That's the whole idea, winning. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Gillis. What do you care, Dobe? My old Kentucky home, how ricky-ticky can you get? Listen, Jerome, I'm gonna make that octet. I'm gonna practice, practice, practice. I gotta kill that boy. I just gotta. Now, Herbert, I think it sounds lovely. Lovely? He's chasing customers out of the store. Tommy! It's all right, Mom. My throat's kind of sore anyway. Oh? Let me see. Oh, goodness, your tonsils. They're all swollen and inflamed. Oh, Teeth, hey. haircut, tonsils. The upkeep is breaking me. Herbert, I'm serious. Take a look. All right. Open your mouth, but don't sing. <laughs> Why, his tonsils, they're all swollen and inflamed. Boy, you're going to bed. Oh, I'm all right. I don't want to go to bed. I, I can't lose the time. You're probably going to lose those tonsils. But i got to practice my singing. Oh, no, you don't. Winnie, call a good doctor. This will be worth the money. Thank you for getting your throat cut. Yeah. <laughs> Man, forget that shit. The little girl's like full of girls. Like who? Oh, well, uh, Peggy Lee, Ella Fitzgerald, June Christie. Love my uncle. Love my aunt. Love my cousin Max. Well, those aren't the lyrics, Jerome. Well, how's it going? Clue me. No, I can't sing. Well, just fake it, good buddy. All right. Love me tender, love me sweet. Never let me go. <laughs> that was me. I don't know, Big Daddy. Let's try it again. <laughs> Never let me go. <laughs> you have made my life complete, and I love you so. <laughs> love me tender, love me true. I suppose you're wondering about my voice. Well, the doctor says it's caused by scar tissue.
you know, from my tonsillectomy. It may last all my life, it may not. But meanwhile, I've got Thalia, and Thalia's got me, under contract. She's my manager. Love me tender, love me sweet. Are you still on those pictures, Jerome? Hurry up, we've got work to do. What's in there? Hmm? What's in there? Oh, these, uh, they're souvenir buttons for Dobie Gillis's fans. Genuine buttons right off his own shirt. <laughs> they're genuine Dobie scarves at four dollars a piece. Four, four dollars? I saw one down in the corner yesterday for a dollar ninety-eight. Not a Dobie scarf. Right. <laughs> hey, uh, what, what are these? Tickets. To what? To Dobie's recording session. I rented a studio, and Dobie's going to make a record, and I'm going to send the record to a big recording company. Dobie's going to get a contract and be a big, rich recording star. Talia? Yeah? You thought any about joining a mafia? <laughs> Yes, sir. Thalia's the best little manager a man ever had. Overnight, she made me a celebrity, the idol of every girl in town. But I'll tell you something. It's gotten to be a bit of a bore having girls chase me all the time. But still and all, I suppose a public figure has certain obligations. Would you please? Well, why not, little one? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh. Could I have an extra one for my cousin Ethel? Oh, sorry, Cookie. Just one to a customer. Oh, please, sir. Oh, she just had her appendix out. Well, in that case... Oh, they don't call you the great Dobie for nothing. Yes, I, my dear? I... I... Can I whisper in your ear? Be my guest. Well, just one. Oh! This gives you a rough idea how it is. All the time. All the time. <laughs> yes, my child? I am not your child. For this relief, much thanks. Hey, what's on your so-called mind, Sonny? Uh, Mr. Uh, Minifee, you remember him, the singing coach. He asked me to tell you that there's a rehearsal today. Yes, I remember Mr. Minifee, the singing coach. But does Mr. Minifee, the singing coach, remember that my voice is a delicately tuned instrument and should not be unnecessarily strained? Ah. Yeah. Now, you just scamper back on your little fat legs and tell Mr. Minifee, the singing coach, that Dolby Gillis does not rehearse today. Little fat legs. All right, big fat legs. Now, off you go, Chatty. <laughs> yes, my dear. Adulation, swooning, autographs, day and night, night and day. It was all very nice, of course, having all those fans. Especially one fan. One fan I never dreamed it'd be a fan. I mean... Well, this is Herbert Gillis, father of Dolby Gillis. <laughs> Dolby. Dolby Gillis, the new singing sensation. Well, did you know that tonight is a singing contest between Central and Webster High? Oh, you do know, huh? Well, what do you mean, burying a big story like that back on page eight? <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, cancel my subscription. <laughs> Once in a generation, a voice like Dobie's comes along and they stick the story on page eight. Two weeks ago, you were calling him a bum. Winnie, it takes a big man to admit when he's wrong, and that's what I am, a big man. <laughs> and Winnie, you're a big woman. You be big if you want to. Leave me out of this. <laughs> hey, what did I do with my song? Your what? My song. Why should Dobie make some other songwriter rip? Some other songwriter? Oh, here it is. Now get this. Hold me, kiss me, wrap your lips around me. Wrap your lips around me? <laughs> it's poetry, Herbert. Well, the kid's got to get his talent from someplace. Looks like you got away clean. Almost. Oh, oh, I think it's just terrible those girls snatching at your clothes all What's the time. What's so terrible about it? My son is a star, aren't you, son? <laughs> not yet, Dad, not quite yet. Like heck you're not. That man from the record company's coming down here to hear you sing tonight. The rest will be history. Dad, Mom, I, I want you to know that no matter how high and how far I go, I'll never forget my humble origin. Thank you, Dobie. We appreciate that. 
I know we're just grubby little nobodies. And if you want us to step out of the way, why, we'll understand. Oh, no, no, Mom. Grubby or not, you're still my mother and you're still my father. And I know that in your own way, you tried your best for me. I gotta kill that boy. <laughs> Quiet, Lenny. Son, I want you to know that we're not going to be the ordinary type of uh, show business parents. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not just going to sit back and reap the benefits. I'm going to help you. In fact, I'm thinking of closing the store and handling your career personally. Hmm. You know, there are a lot of gimmicks in this business. For instance. Gee, thanks, Dad, but I don't know how to play it. Fake it, boy, fake it. All the big singers hold guitars and give it plenty of this stuff, you know? You gotta know how to sell a song, boy. Now watch this. I wanna kiss, I wanna cling. But, baby, there's a time and place for everything. So please, please, cool it, baby. Show the gang you ain't no square. Cool it, baby. We don't want no chance to stare. Oh, cool it, cool it, baby. May fly the fools are fair. The end, huh? Dad? Yeah? Don't sell the store. be a brief intermission. Anything like this in the vernacular doobie or the cat's pajamas. Uh, thank you, Mr. Hey, Mr. I want to know why he didn't have his guitar out there. What are you trying to do? Ruin his career? Now, you yeah. better get dressed for the next number. Yes, sir. And listen, in that next number, you carry this thing. Give him some of this, huh? Mr. Lennon, see, I'd like you to meet Mr. Binford of the Apex Recording Company. He came from Chicago to hear Dobie, and he thinks he's wonderful. I'm his father. He's better than wonderful. I have a contract already. I'm his father. And you're a very bright little girl to send me that tape recording. Herbert T. Gillis, the father of Dobie Gillis. Oh, I bet you thought of that name, too. That was a stroke of genius. Uh, now, let's see. There's Little Richard. Conway Twitty, and now... <laughs> Dobie Gillis! <laughs> hey, listen, you, that's his real name, and I'm his father. Oh, I beg your pardon. How do you do? <laughs> oh, here comes our next Sinatra now. Dobie, I'd like you to meet Mr. Binford of the Apex Recording Company. Oh, how do you do, sir? Pleased to meet you, Dobie. Well, you're gonna see more of me. I want to talk contract later tonight. Contract? 
No kidding. Gosh, to think all this is happening to me. It wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for her. And he wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for me. Please, please. After all, they can't help themselves. Hi, fans. Oh, me! I want to talk to you. Excuse me, my uh, uh, an old friend. <laughs> excuse me. An old friend? Why, yes, Thalia. Listen, ever since you were in knee pants, you've been whining that you loved me. Be easy on that love stuff. What? Now, look, Thalia, love and business just don't mix. Not in this business, anyhow. But when these girls buy my records, every one of them has to believe that I'm singing to her, her alone. That's why I can't have any romantic attachments in my life. I belong to my public now. I see. I knew you would. I, I mean, a big, important hit singer like me has to stay free. Now, you take Ricky Nelson. Has he got a wife? No. Or Elvis Presley, or Fabian. Free, every one of us. Us? Yeah, which means that every girl in this country lives in hope. Maybe someday she'll be the lucky one that catches us. Doby, I only now, have I one thing to anything, say. Of course, but we'll arrange meetings from time to time. We'll find little out-of-the-way places where I won't be recognized. Of course, that'll be terribly <laughs> difficult, but, but maybe if I uh, put on a mustache or dark glasses. Anyhow, I'll try to work it out. Now, I can't promise anything, Marjorie. Now, I am. If, and what? I'm promising that I will never speak. Shh. As long as I live, I'll never look at that swell head of yours. You, I am through with you, Dobie Gillis. Through, through, through. Failure. favorite that I'm proud to have arranged especially to feature the voice of Dobie Gillis, <laughs> the bulldog on the back. Jefferson and without Thalia Meninger. Oh, it wasn't my fault. The, the doctor said it was some scar tissue that changed my voice. I, I just yelled it off. But I'm not giving up. I know that faith can move mountains. Ah, and I'm going to come here and practice every day. Ah, until I'm good. Ah, if it takes forever. Ah, you know, even I can't stand it. Once a gal is creamy, Dobie. 
wants a gal to call his own. Is she blonde? Is she tall? Is she dark? Is she small? Is she any kind of dream one at all? No matter, he's hers and hers alone. 